Hello, we're going to take a look at the manual maintenance procedure which you will need to perform on your devices. We recommend that you should carry out these short cleaning steps at least once a week in order to keep your equipment in the best condition. First of all a little reminder that all of this information is outlined in detail in your machine's manual, which if you haven't done so already, we recommend reading through. Your printer is a precision high performance device and the more you look after it, the more it will look after you. Let's start by taking a look at the recommended equipment that you will need in order to carry out a manual clean. Also, please ensure that you have adequate safety wear. First of all, remove any media that is in the machine. Next, we are going to need to clean all of the surfaces within the device. For this, you could use a vacuum or a tack cloth that will help to pick up any settled dust or loose particles. Here you can see we are using a scraper to remove any print or ink on the table. Then we're going to use some isopropanol to clean the surface. On the menu panel, Navigate down to the sub-menu and then into the maintenance menu. When you find the cleaning option, press enter. The table within the machine will then go towards the rear and the print head will travel to the left in order to get better access for cleaning. You will then need to remove the left hand side cover and then the right hand side cover. Using the cleaning solution for the machine, dip a cleaning swab into the bottle and wipe off any excess. Here we're going to clean the print head surrounds. We are looking to clean off any excess ink from the print head frame and the black plastic head surround. Note that we do not clean the print head surface. Using a torch at this stage will help us to discover any loose hairs or fluff that may have attached to the print head. These can pick up unwanted ink whilst printing, so we'll need to use the swabs or tweezers to remove them. The surface of the lamp lens can over time get a film of cured ink settling on it. Use a straight blade edge or similar to carefully scrape the ink off, but be sure to use only the flat edge and not the sharp point of the blade so as not to damage the surface. Isopropanol can be used to clean the lamp casing if needed. Now moving over to the right hand side of the machine, we will need to clean all around the wiper blades to remove any excess ink. You may need to gently rub at the surface of the wiper if ink has accumulated and dried there. Take the chance at this stage to check the condition of the wiper. If the wiper looks old and worn, it may need replacing. Again, you can use your torch to check the area for any hairs or fluff. Next, we move on to the cap tops. The cap top makes an airtight seal on the underside of the print head when it is not in use. You will need to clean around the gasket to ensure that the seal is clean and working properly. Clean the plastic surround and the rubber seal. There shouldn't be any need to clean the inside of the cap top as this part runs any waste ink into the waste ink bottle and therefore it is normal for it to have ink showing. Now you can clean any other parts of the machine. If you see ink on any of the other surfaces within the machine you can use the cleaning solution and swabs to wipe it away. Be sure to check the waste ink bottle before finishing. And that's it. The menu panel will say finished with a question mark. Press enter and follow the instructions to replacing any covers.